Hello, this is Len Hansen, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to go through the procedure to update the firmware on the CTR2 MIDI using the ESP32 S3 processor. To start with, open up the Flash Download tool. The link's in the description. And then select the ESP32 S3 processor. Leave the work mode and the load mode set as they are shown here and click the OK button. Okay, you'll be presented with a display that looks similar to this. Uh, the most important things are to make sure that you've got the, the bin files loaded and they're selected. Make sure the check marks are checked on each of the bin files. Make sure the addresses match the name of the bin file. Uh, this one's uh, X8000, this one's XE000, and this one's X10000. So the addresses have to match the bin file names. Okay, once you've done that, select the COM port for the MIDI. Have your MIDI already plugged into your USB port and have it operational and it'll appear as a virtual COM port. Your, your number will be different. Mine's COM16. So select that, hit the erase button. Okay, you'll notice when you hit the erase button, you'll get a two sync fail alarm. And what that's telling you is that it can't program this processor using COM16. So you click OK to accept that. And now if you'll go back to your COM drop down, you'll notice that COM16 no longer exists. The ESP32 S3 chip has two COM ports. One's used for normal communications like uh, terminal mode or that kind of stuff. The second one is used for programming. So when you've tried to upload to the normal uh, USB port, it failed and then it switched over automatically to its programming USB port and that's on COM28. So I'll select that now and now I can hit the erase button and it'll go through the erase process finished and I hit start again or start and now it'll go through and actually flash the firmware to the MIDI. Okay once it's all done you'll notice that nothing's changed here other than showing me the some of the statistics from the MIDI. If to uh, to check if the download worked I cycled the power on the MIDI. You'll hear the beep on your computer and then the MIDI will go through its update process. And now when I drop down the COM port you'll see that COM port 16 is back. So that gives you and have a good idea of how the, the firmware upload process works and what to expect when it's done. Once it's done, you should be able to run a terminal program. Um, I use uh, TerraTerm because it's easy to use. And uh, once you log into it, press a key on the keyboard, you'll get the, the uh, MIDI controller interface and I can go through and check the MIDI's operation here. I can change uh, the different options, the new options that are in version 1.02. Yeah, I can change those here. I can change those with pushing the buttons and the encoder. The instructions are all in the manual for doing this. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them there. Appreciate it and thanks for checking in with me.